Hello and welcome back to the channel and this Jurassic World Evolution 2 sandbox park build. So as you can see here, um, to start things off, I'm just placing some uh, of like the containers and uh, new decorations that Frontier added. Well, they're not really new now, but um, yeah, I suppose they're new to me. But yeah, just adding uh, some of those um, uh, different uh, decorations um, uh, around the backstage area because it um, looks quite bland and we want it to look um, more unique and like um, a working area. That's why I've got all the containers and like cages and stuff because I'll be working with dinosaurs and um, shipping in different freight and stuff like for um, all like the shops and stuff like that because um, they got to come from somewhere. Um, but yeah, um, gas canisters and stuff there. Um, I'd also like to point out that um, my video is going to be a lot um, smoother now, um, 60 FPS because I've got the capture card. I got the Elgato HD 60. So um, yeah, that came today. Uh, tested it out. And it um, seems to have worked fine. There might be a few glitches here and there. There was a point in um, recording where something went a bit wrong, but um, I think uh, the majority of the video should be fine. Um, maybe even better than um, the last um, uh, capture card I had. But um, hopefully um, you enjoy um, the upgrading quality. Um, hopefully it's um, you can notice the difference. Um, but um, I've been looking um, for a better capture card for a while now, and I finally decided to go and get one. Um, I saw it on eBay for cheap and I was like, yep, yeah, screw it, I'm going to buy it. Um, yeah. So um, as you see here, I'm just, um, I just placed that gyrosphere in the uh, sauropod enclosure. Um, like I said, I was going to do in the last episode. And then, of course, placing all the trees and planters around it just to make it look nice. We like things to look nice here. Yeah, and placing more of these planters, different ones. And I think in the end it looked really nice. There we go, just finishing it off there. Then I changed the vehicle capacity to eight. Then I just added a bit more trees where the gyrosphere um, got rid of some. Yeah, <laughs> I decided to try and look for the comfort for the dinosaurs there. But, um, obviously, the rangers aren't doing their job. Right after that, I got to work on the newest enclosure, which was a suggestion from a well a very long time ago. I'd like to thank Francisco Magalhaes. Um, I think you've um, commented before, so uh, thanks for the suggestion. Um, hopefully I didn't uh, ruin your name too much. Um, but you wanted four Kenzusaurus. Kenzusaurus. I can't really pronounce that. Um, I decided to add, I think, five in the end, um, just to top it off. Um, it made it, because it's quite a large exhibit, I thought um, five would look a lot nicer. But um, you got your four, so uh, happy days to you. And you asked me to name one of them Bruce and one of them Usain. And you see me do that later on in the video. And I also give one a name myself. Uh, you'll see that later on. Um, hopefully in the last video you enjoyed that um, little bit at the end. Um, hopefully you watched it the whole way through. But um, yeah, I've done like a little, um, uh, I used to call them glamour shots, but um, like a nice little collection of um, footage of the dinosaurs like roaming around to like cinematic shots. I think I quite like doing that. I quite like watching like content like that. So um, yeah, I decided to give it a go. Oh yeah, I placed all those rocks wrong there as you can see. That was all that symmetrical and that drove me mental because of, I want it to look all natural and if everything just looks like uniform it just annoys me. So there we go, scattering them around a bit more, placing some trees just to make the exhibit more lively, add a bit more colour, uh, hide the fencing. I always like to try and hide the fencing from the guest's point of view, um, like in the background. Placing a couple of galleries there because this is going to be quite a big attraction of the park. Since this is the second carnivore we've added, this has been a very herbivore dominant park. Actually, no, third carnivore because we have the raptors. But um, yeah, it's been a very herbivore dominated park. So there we go, just um, doing that, adding a pathway there, just making sure that looked okay. I thought about adding a hill there, but then decided against it because it would ruin the view. So I decided to place a few trees here and there. Oh, I love these trees so much. I'm so happy they brought them back. Yeah, adding some sand texture there to make it look like it's been walked on. I want it to look a bit more rugged, this exhibit. Then of course placing a feeder in front of the gallery there, because as we know, I like to make sure the guests get to see the dinosaurs doing everything. Yeah, just connecting the path up now, making sure it's all neat. Uh, I might have to decorate that little area there um, later on down the line. Then just added some trees there just to liven up the place a bit. Then of course decorating the outside here. Um, I used these poles, um, quite strange. Um, I don't really know what you'd use them for, but I just thought I'd make a nice little backdrop type thing to stop people um, looking in the fence there. 
Then of course I added the main attraction, the dinosaurs. And as you saw earlier, I decided on Kyanzusaurus, Chanjusaurus. I have no idea how to pronounce that, I think. Um, what's his face? Um, oh, his name's escaped me. Cabot Finch. He um, pronounces it so you're able to hear it um, right about now, actually. Good timing. This is a unique animation. Oh, I love the soundtrack to that animation there. It's always for like the medium carnivores. The Changesaurus. Changesaurus, there you go. <laughs> Straight from the horse's mouth. Fast, hungry predators. Yeah, so I've got five of them, I think. Yeah, there's one, two, three there, then of course them two, yeah, five. I can do maths. But um, yeah, I wanted this um, exhibit to be quite lively. I didn't want like a couple. I wanted them um, like a little family. So here we are with the live footage. Hopefully you notice the 60 FPS now. Um, but here we go, naming this one Bruce. Bruce the Brute. <laughs> Oh, this is definitely one of my favourite dinosaurs, and I'm not just saying that this time, it really is. It's probably my favourite carnivore in the game, actually. I really do like this. Did I name this one Usain? So, thank you for the suggestion, Francisco. Hopefully you're watching. And, um, yeah, Usain is um, a bit of a strange one. Um, doesn't want to walk or do anything. He's literally just staring. A thousand yards staring in the middle distance, contemplating life. <laughs> Yeah, he's just um, bearing, getting used to his bearings, I think. After just landing, he's probably a bit stoned after all the tranquilizer. Then we've got that one there. It's like a grey brown with like the orange pattern on the back, like a ready orange. And of course, the last one, just speeding that up. This nice green one. I decided to name this one Yoshi from um, like Super Mario. Um, do like my Nintendo. Um, yeah, decided to name him Yoshi because he has that same colour like the, well it's not really a white belly, but like a yellow belly of like the green. I just thought it was quite fitting. And it's um, quite ironic really, since Yoshi's like a cute little dinosaur and this is a meat-eating killer. <laughs> but here we have a little animation, I love this animation. Him getting a bit annoyed and this one, bang, <laughs> right into the side of him. Such an aggressive dinosaur. I love the uh, aggressive ones. Right, so I'm just going to show you like a little pan over of um, what I've done in this. Oh wait, no, here we go. Um, just checking the viewing gallery here. And yeah, so you get a nice view out of that lake there, the rocks and stuff. A little hill in the background. I think I've done quite a good job of this exhibit, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Yeah, just um, having a little look at what I've done. See, so going real time footage, seeing the decoration I added and stuff. In case you missed it. So that looks a lot nicer now. Then we go all the way over to our, um, what's it called, Gyrosphere. You can see all the decorations I did there. Here we go, we're riding on board. There we are. Just making sure um, <laughs> you get a good shot of the dinosaurs. You've got a jeep there, but um, yeah, like dinosaurs so far. It's a bit like the film, isn't it? <laughs> when um, Ian Malcolm with the um, wins in the tour jeep. Here we go. We've got some Apatosaurus blocking the way. Well, it really does show you the scale, doesn't it? Wow. Imagine coming face to face with that. I'll probably be more worried about that. Actually, no, no. I would be worried about. I'd probably be just as worried about um, like herbivore like that, as well as a carnivore, because that thing could just tread on you, crush you. Because its jaws, like molars. Yeah, you got a little fact there. <laughs> Even though I didn't hear all of it, yeah, a little sign of was just wandering off there. But um, yeah, I'm not going to do a full um, jar. So I might do that um, in the big tour at the end of the series. So um, stick around for that. And um, yeah, that pretty much does it for this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. Of course, suggestions welcome. I'll pick my favourite out of one of them. So um, yeah, make sure it's a good one.
And now I have some nice little cinematic shots for you to enjoy. So um, hopefully you enjoy them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.